Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of ProAct Safety. This episode is titled Structured Approach to Coaching, Behaviorally Defined RREs. One of the most important things a manager can do is coach the individuals for their performance. But it should be something that happens at all levels of the organization, starting at the top and working its way down. One of the ways that I've seen it applied best is if you start with the top leader and you have them meet with his or her direct reports. They then work in collaboration to define what the roles, responsibilities, and expectations are in safety for that individual. And it could be different individual by individual, even within the same level. Then once you start setting those expectations in place, and again, they're collaboratively defined expectations, then one of the things you could do is have those individuals then meet with their direct reports and start working this out as well. But what we encourage is that you identify behaviorally defined roles, responsibilities, and expectations in safety. We want to make sure that the right expectations are set, and if they're behaviorally defined, they give you opportunities to actually be coached. You can't really coach on results. You can coach on certain behaviors, and these are the behaviors are critical to achieving that level of excellence in safety. Behaviors like leading safety meetings, uh, risk inspections within the organization, like starting every meeting that you have with safety. There are certain things that you can put in place at every level, but as you work to cascade them throughout the organization, that's when you start developing that critical element in safety, and that's the ability to coach for performance. A lot of people start off with just in the early progress in safety, just trying to get to compliance. And developing a compliance culture is important because it's that foundation we need to build other advanced elements like coaching. But once you've established that level of compliance, start looking to add in the elements of coaching. But to do so first, collaboratively define by level in the organization what's required of that individual. What are the roles and what's expected of them. But as you're defining them, make sure they're behaviorally defined so they're descriptive enough. I hope you can use this idea to implement a coaching culture within your organization. If you have any comments you'd like to share, there are several options. You can post a comment on Canadian Occupational Safety's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com or visit my Safety Culture podcast and blog at www.safetycultureexcellence.com and share your ideas there. Thank you for all that you do. See you next time.